In 1889, the Holy Ghost missionaries arrived and settled in Mombasa with the aim of establishing the Catholic Christian faith in the Kenyan coast. When the first missionaries arrived here, there was nobody here who was a Christian except the Goan community. There were about 40 or 50 of them at that stage. Now, when the Father Alexander Roy set up residence in the old town, they also constructed a semi-permanent building there, which we call a chapel, a place of worship. The first baptism was on the 14th of August, 1889. As the congregation grew, there was a need to build a bigger church to accommodate the faithfuls. In 1898, a new church was built on a five-acre plot that could accommodate 400 people. But that again became inadequate. So they started planning to build a bigger church. Therefore, in 1916, the foundation stone was laid to construct an imposing Romanskiw cathedral. Seven years later, in 1923, the Holy Ghost Cathedral, adorned by two large towers, was completed. The missionaries settled for an imposing Romanskiw architectural and unique design. They came here with their culture. This church is Romanesque in architecture, so they transplanted this architecture here in Mombasa. So therefore, they took on local people and they trained them in masonry, in the skills of building. The missionaries trained the locals on how to source and treat appropriate local materials to construct the enormous structure. This building is made up of coral rock. If you look at the size of the walls, they're almost four feet apart. Very solid. The structure is actually built with no reinforcement, but it's built with coral block work, uh, comprising of a one meter thick insulated wall structure and having uh, two by one meter pillars that are the reinforcing, uh, reinforcement for this. And uh, in between uh, two blocks, there is uh, insulating material that makes it more weather friendly. All the timber work, the structure, was not locally available. So everything that uh, appears to be here is probably imported from abroad. Also, the, the roof structures are all uh, made out of hardwood, meaning in this time and period, this would not be a cost which, we, which, which anybody could accommodate at this time. The richly colored stained glass windows were all shipped from Europe as gifts to the parishioners of the time. Behind the tabernacle, three outstanding stained glass windows were put up to tell a story of the Catholic faith. Additionally, around the cathedral are other stained glass window works strategically placed and of significant portrayals of the church faith. The beautiful high altar tabernacle and the ambo are made from the finest marble that was carved and sculpted by expert stone masons in Toulouse, France and shipped in wooden crates and the parts assembled in Mombasa. Because people didn't know how to read and write. Therefore they took pictures, they made drawings of say symbols of our church like uh, the apostles, or the Last Supper. In our case, the cathedral, they made sure there is something to show their presence. And therefore, you would find in that cathedral a picture or decoration or, of the Holy Spirit. The altar also is decorated, is made to be of a lasting material. The chalices and even the 
wear the ambo for preaching. There are 12 stained glass windows in this church. On my left is St. Teresa of the Infant Jesus. And behind the main, the high altar is symbolically the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is linked with this congregation of the Holy Ghost Fathers. The beautiful ceiling, which is an exact copy of Westminster Cathedral, was intricately hand-painted, each cell at a time. The roof is uh, actually a very ancient designed roof, which was uh, built within the period of the uh, late 1800s design, and uh, it is actually called a cove vaulted roof design, which has one meter by one meter panels that are hand painted by an artist, which was uh, probably the only time that it was ever touched up. The main truss work probably imported teak from uh, abroad was brought in here and was uh, used to construct the truss system and the structure seemed to be strong enough to take another, another hundred years. From his first baptism in 1889, the cathedral has grown in leaps and bounds, witnessed tens of thousands of baptisms, marriages and other sacrament celebrations. When this church was founded, you see now the gospel values were cherished and the life of faith came up with the celebrations of the sacraments. And we see the families have grown up to be uh, Christian families. We have seen really marriages. And we see people, even kids receiving First Holy Communion. We see the bishop moving from place to place, parishes, with hundreds of worshippers being confirmed. The anointing of the sick ministers. We have also big numbers of people coming for confessions and we find now the Christian families are growing, beautifying our small Christian communities, apostolic associations, the youth groups, young adults, senior youth, children, that is PMC, all coming up, everyone really living a committed life in the church. This is what we can see, the beauty of uh, uh, this uh, cathedral, this first parish. A hundred years on, we celebrate the existence of this iconic structure that lay the seed to the growth of other diocese parishes, a reflect on the milestones of growth of the Catholic faith in Mombasa and indeed in Kenya. My name is Philip Neri Gikundi. I'm 12 years old. I was baptized in this church. My name is Sarafina Bendera Kiraga. I was baptized in this church. Nilipata sacrament ya kitubio, sacrament ya kipaimara, sacrament ya ndoa. I've grown my faith through this cathedral, this parish. My children are come here, my grandchildren come here. Kia hii ndiyo parokia ambayo nilianza mafunzo ya ndoa, ikuweko malezi ya kiloo. Mesaidia maparokia hayo mengine, na tumesaidia pia ukuza miti. Why is this church important is because generation and generation have grown from this church. Uh, I grew up here and I also did my wedding here. And that is why we are celebrating these 100 years. Tunashukuru zaidi kwa imani ambayo inaenea na asa zaidi tunasherekea kazi ya maaskofu, mapadri na watawa wote wa kiume na kike ambao wameweza kufanya kwa kueneza injili katika katendrali hii. Look at the number of priests in Kenya, the diocese. We have thousands of priests. And when you look at the number of the lay so many lay faithful. The number of dioceses, the number of bishops, and even if you look at the archdiocese, now we have 62 parishes with so many outstations. We are almost 90 priests. 
And this is, you can see really, the work of God. That one person who says yes to God, God uses that person in a mighty way that than one can't comprehend. As we're celebrating 100 years eh, in this church, may we be joyful, may we be great, may we be thanking God for everything and the milestone we have reached so far. Thank you. Happy anniversary. Ningependa kuatakia wa katoliki, wa kristo wa katoliki, wa holy ghost cathedral Mombasa, maadhimisho mema ya kusherekea miaka miyamoja. Happy 100 years. Happy anniversary. Tunapo sherekea maisha haya imani pia, tukumbuke pia na sisi tunandelea kukua. Ili siku moja pia tupate na fasi ya kusharekia maisha yetu binafsi. Happy anniversary! Na watakia Centenary Jema ambayo umejawa na furaha na tuzidi kuwa na imani ili tuweze kueneza neno lake mungu. As we celebrate this year, the 100th year Centenary of the Cathedral is also a time of inviting all those sons and daughters. And as we celebrate, we appreciate not only the beauty of that church, but what it signifies. It signifies the beauty of heaven. It is very solid as you watch it. It is firm, it doesn't shake. It's the same story we are told, Peter is told, Peter, you are Peter, you are Petros, you are a rock. And on this rock, I'll build my church. That's our faith, that's our understanding of the Catholic Church. We are invited to join in this matter in the form of a synodality, what we are calling a synodality, singing, praying, thinking together.